hear from Liz McAllister, uh, formerly of the Jonah House in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I have um, served about 18 months in the uh, county jail for my participation with the Kings Bay Plowshares. I don't know if there's more to come, but if there is, we'll deal with it. And if there's not, that's fine too. Um, I want to share a couple of excerpts from our from the indictment that we brought to the base during the action, because it talks about the ways investment in nuclear weapons is divestment from human needs. It steals the uh, resources needed for uh, for people. These weapons make us less prepared to meet challenges like the pandemic that we are now dealing with. Today, through our nonviolent action at King's Bay, we indict the United States government, President, Don President Donald Trump, and King's Bay base commander Brian Lapine. The, <clears throat> the whole nuclear triad, and specifically the Trident nuclear program. Whereas the United States is bound by the United Nations Charter, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, and the Nuremberg Principles, which prohibit war crimes and full-scale nuclear explosions. The Kings Bay Naval Submarine Base refits and maintains submarines, which carry Trident D-5 submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Six of the Navy's 14 Ohio-class submarines have their home port at Kings Bay. Each submarine carries the capacity to cause devastation equivalent to 600 of the nuclear attacks on Hiroshima in Japan. Thus, the six tridents at Kings Bay have the capacity equal to 3,600 Hiroshima's. 3,600 Hiroshima's. From the initial mine, uh, mineral mining through testing, storage, and dumping, these weapons harm human beings, destroy the environment, and violate international and God's law. Moreover, each day, the environment, um, each day, the program steals from all of our nation and the world by its theft of much needed resources. The ongoing building and maintenance of the Trident submarines and ballistic missiles Institute a war crime that can and should be investigated and prosecuted by judicial authorities at all levels. As citizens, we are required by international law to denounce and resist known crimes. And these are known crimes. In this time of pandemic, it is more vital than ever to acknowledge the theft of resources needed for human life that these weapons represent. I'd like to close by mentioning the cost of war trade-offs resources from the National Priorities Project, where you can find the figures for the weapons costs and the essential services that we lack as a result of these weapons, and they just keep growing. We've got to stop it. Thank you.